last time on the Lazy Geckos. Okay, are you going to go around the whale or through uh, Don't Rock? We're going to go, we're going to attempt to go around the whale. Uh, we'll send back a report uh, once we get through there. If we do. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, we left to run to Marsh a little later uh, today, so we appreciate that report. No worries, I'll send it back. All right, appreciate it. By the way, we've really enjoyed your Christmas display. Uh, appreciate it. Oh, uh, Christmas lights. Seven and clear. Yeah. So is that somebody we're more with? 11 11, yeah. Um, oh, they're the ones that were telling us they left our lights. Your lights. Yeah. But, yeah, so everybody in the whole area is concerned about the whale. And we're um, attempting it yeah, first. Yeah, we're the only ones. Everybody's sitting there watching us. We're going, and then we get all these radio calls. Hey, are you going to the whale? We're going to try. Can you let us know how it is? We're the guinea pigs. Right now it's blowing up 17 knots apparent on the, uh, at about 30 degrees. We got to run down kind of against the, the, the swells or sideways to the swells. And then we're going to make a turn downwind. And then hopefully we can put out a sail, but we're only about seven miles from the whale where the rage happens. Um, it's really been really poor weather for about two weeks now. And there's a whole bunch of boats sitting in Green Turtle Key and the surrounding area waiting to cross. So, this, hopefully it's today. This is supposed to be the uh, moment that everybody can go. Everybody we talked to was kind of planning on going today. Woke up this morning and a little bit of bad weather, some rain and stuff, but wanted to go ahead and just get going and that's what we're doing. So, we're headed out right now and we should be there in about an hour. The Christmas tree may not make it. I don't know, I tied it to the fire extinguisher. <laughs> We're uh, approaching Whale Key now. I can see breakers, uh, but there's a reef right through the port of where we go through. And it's definitely breaking right there. It can be really unsettling because everybody's basically terrified of Whale Key. So being new to the area, not a local, you've never done this before, you're like, oh, how do you know if it's good or not? So all the hype and everything kind of freaks you out. It's almost like, you know, one of those things like the Gulf Stream is going to be crazy and you know at some point yeah I know I know at some point you have to be like screw it we are confident we feel like it's good we think it's good we're knowledgeable let's go Good. The 
seas are a little bit confused, but not too bad. Here's here a little bit of a swell right here. Hold on, girl. Oh, the tree. Did it go? I put the tree away. Oh, hold on. Now we got some swells. Yeah, seas are a little confused. Uh, occasional six. That was probably a six right there. But overall, I don't see any breakers. We're looking all right. We don't mind about seas. All boats, all boats, it's Calypso. I'm not getting anything back, but in case you want an update on Whale Key Passage. Uh, winds are about 10 to 15 out of the northwest. Seas are about three uh, with an occasional six foot swell, which was very doable, no worries at all. Uh, if it stayed the same, I wouldn't worry about passing it all. Come on through. Oh, you're such a savage. Yeah, baby. I love it. I'm, I'm uh, available for other services, too. This is where Nippers is. You wanted to go there today, right? Yeah, it's Sunday, so they say go to Nippers on Sunday, so we'll try it. Yeah, oh, let's try it. See, how, see if it gets crazy over there. How much further? Maybe, uh, I don't know. I haven't looked. I imagine 45 minutes to the Anchorage. It was time to relax. We launched the dinghy, checked the anchor to be sure it was set, and headed for town. Whale Key was done. We had a great passage. Our 12-hour weather window was perfect. A few other boats were able to cross as well before the winds would shift again. Sometimes all you can do is wait, but for now, we get to enjoy this lovely little spot on Guana Key. Nippers is a famous little bar here, so we grabbed a seat and enjoyed the view. It wasn't long before the boys went to explore the beach though. card in here. Apparently it can be removed afterwards, but so you don't have to keep it in there, but it always has had it in there, so I don't know if there's something special I need to do. Keep watching those training videos that I wake up to. Yep. You're teaching yourself. You're putting yourself through for Reno school. That's right. Just trying to load explorer charts onto our chart plotter. Of the Bahamas? Yeah. So, I mean, it's, you can do it. I just don't know how to make, I'll look it up, figure out what I'm supposed to be doing, but. I downloaded some new charts from uh, Furuno. It's like a little system they have going on. And basically I just took the zip file and then I put, I extracted it, put the file on here. And I should be able to, put, I put it in this right slot. There's two slots in here originally. It didn't do anything. 
but then I found out there's a hidden slot under this little tab that goes in here. So I'll just put it in the left one and then start it. All right, and then what will it, if it works right, it's going to somehow notify me when I try to use the chart that I need to contact the dealer so I can pay for the chart. And then you get a code. The, the charts that are on here, they completely sucked for um, like Bahamas. There's nothing, I have no data whatsoever. So uh, I'm trying to get the Explorer charts because I hear that I have the Explorer charts in paper form, but I hear that the Explorer charts on like, are just great for the Bahamas. So I went ahead and down, or I'm trying to download the charts on my chart plotters which would be huge because the depths are so much better. Um, just everything is it's much better when it comes to the charts in the Bahamas that I found uh, with the books. If I can get that on here, that'd be killer. So we'll let it start up and see. Bahamas coverage only, Abaco's, Grand Bahama Bank, blah, 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 blah. File size, it's on this little card right here. And I click on unlock. Now what I need to do is I have to call a Furuno dealer pay $250 and then they'll give me the code to unlock that. So that's the next step. And then once we have that, we'll have new charts. Oh, you can go call them right now. Yeah, we'll try. Well, I'm making a lot, so. Yeah, but not under the water with me. I see it. <laughs> you see what? <laughs> Let me get that. Coming soon on the Lazy Geckos. One for the Marine Corps. Come on. We're always ended up searching for stuff in there with a the brand new Yamaha Hotel. You got it. You got it. What is it, like 36 hours later? I heard the wind picking up. <laughs> Episodes are fueled by Patreon. See how you can be a part of our journey at patreon.com forward slash lazy geckos. Want to get behind the scenes? Follow us on Instagram. There's tons more fun to see on our Vimeo channel. You can find the link in the description below.